In this short video, we're going to demonstrate how to use the freehand drawing tool. So to access the freehand drawing tool, go over to design tab and under create vectors, we're going to use this icon here to access the freehand drawing tool. Now this tool enables you to draw in a freehand style like we're demonstrating here, and it can be used with a mouse or with a tablet and pen. And it's really good for creating organic shapes like you can see here. Now I'm actually going to close out the form and we're going to look at demonstrating this tool using a bitmap that we're going to trace certain shapes around the bitmap. So I'm just going to import a bitmap. We're going to bring in this dog. Okay, so there's my bitmap. I'm going to make sure that my bitmap is selected and then I'm going to go into the freehand drawing tool. So in order for me to draw my first shape, um, first just going to zoom in using the scroller of my mouse and I'm going to look at tracing around this ear. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is just click where I want my start point to be and I'm going to click with my left mouse key and then I'm going to hold that down and then I'm going to move my mouse and just kind of follow the curvature of the line that I'm tracing. So we're going to start over here and I'm just going to click. So now I've got my left mouse button pressed down and you can see now that my cursor is displayed as a crosshair with a circle in it. And then when I move my mouse, you can see that we're able to draw this line. So the crosshair kind of represents the edge of my circle. So this is kind of giving me an idea of where my direction is where what's actually being drawn is actually drawn out from the center of the circle. So you should be able to see that there. And I'm just going to go back on myself. So all I'm doing is I'm just following the line that we've got in our image very carefully. And I'm just moving my mouse and you can see it's creating that line there. And obviously, the more practice you get with this, uh, the easier this becomes and the quicker your drawings are to create. Now, a top tip here, as you get to the edge, and if you want to join that up with your original start point, uh, just simply press tab, and then that will join that up for you there. So you can see how easy it was to trace around that ear, and you can see we've got a nice, smooth shape. So now what we're going to do is we're going to discuss what the options are within the form to help us to control our drawing. So we're going to start by looking at the smoothness setting. So the smoothness setting actually helps with the post smoothing of our vectors. So if we stick that over to the left using the slider, we're applying minimal smooth in there. So this will create more points good for angular shapes, that sort of thing. And if we put our slider all the way to the right hand side, it creates a much smoother shape. And so it reduces the amount of nodes that we'll have in order for us to create more curves. So let's just demonstrate both extremities. So we're going to go with minimal smoothing. And we're going to start by trying to draw around the eye of the dog. So you can see I'm just tracing around here ever so carefully. And then when I get to the end, I'm just going to press tab to close that. And if we apply maximum smoothness, we can come over here and then we'll demonstrate this on the right hand side. Okay, so here I'm just following very carefully around the eye like so. And then when I get towards the end, I'm just going to go ahead and press tab and you'll see it will close that there. So now if we just close out of the form and then I'm just going to deselect our bitmap, and I'm going to shift and select both of those vectors and then I'm going to press N on the keyboard to put them into node edit mode. So you can see here where we had the least smooth setting, we've got more points uh, applied to my vector like so. And where we had the maximum smoothness, we can see we only have three points. And so it's really trying to kind of curve and smooth that off. And so that's showing the difference there between the, um, the kind of dialing in on the smoothness setting there. Okay, so that's pretty much the smoothness. So if we just right click to come out of that and then right click to come out of node edit mode, I'm going to select our bitmap again. And we're just going to go back into the freehand drawing tool. 
And obviously you can adjust this to suit the kind of setup that you like to work with. So next up, we're going to take a look at the stabilize option. So the stabilize control essentially enables you to stabilize your mouse whilst you are drawing. So setting it to the least amount of stabilization, obviously the software will be able to pick up small jitters or movements uh, whilst you are tracing. Uh, so for example, if we go and trace around this here, you'll see that I've now lost my stabilization circle. And you can see that already that my drawing is quite rough here. So I'm just gonna let go of that. However, if we increase our slider all the way to maximum for our stabilization, when I click, you'll see that my circle has appeared again and it's uh, quite big and I'm able to see what's going on in there. And you can see it's really trying to stabilize my drawing. It's kind of reducing my uh, hand mouse movements in order for us to create a nice smoother shape. Obviously, you can just set that according to how you want that to be. Now, there are other options that we have available in the form. So one of them is end vector at cursor. So at the moment, I did mention earlier that when we are drawing, it's actually drawing out, if you can see there, from the center. Now, when I let go of my drawing, so or my mouse even, if I let go now, it let goes where the vector is at the middle of that circle. Now, if I want that to finish at the edge of the circle, then I can simply check this mark here and then I can just draw like so. And then when I let go, it's going to let go exactly where that crosshair is like so. That's just a totally a preference thing. So that's up for you to uh, choose which works best for you. Finally, if you've had if you selected a bitmap before you went into this tool, you can actually edit the fading of that directly from in this form, so it can help um, it can help you draw or see the visibility of your bitmap how it is there. And that's pretty much how you use the freehand drawing tool. Thank you for watching.